Hello everyone and welcome to Art and Design. My name is Thorgeir and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Procreate 5X Beta. Let's check it out. Alright, so Procreate 5X, what is it about? What are the features? All that will be answered in this video, starting off with what you saw in the intro and that is the face paint feature and the quickest way to access that is by tapping on the plus right here and tapping on face paint and that'll open up a new canvas and open up this reference panel now this panel can be accessed in the actions right here and under reference we can move this reference panel around we can uh, resize it to some degree and uh, there are a few other options right here and I'll talk about those in a little bit. Now there are a few things we can do. We can tap on the options right here and we can turn on the camera. So if I tilt up the screen like so, you should be able to see me over here. Now you see these dots over here? So these are the eyes, this is the nose and this is the mouth. So Procreate is using this to map it out directly on the skin. So basically what I can do is I can just go ahead and draw directly on my face. And yeah, you can just see the potential here with things like uh, Instagram filters or Snapchat filters and things like that. You could just go ahead and start drawing all sorts of cool stuff and uh, <laughs> you know, pick different colors. And yeah, I mean, <laughs> you get the idea, right? You can also sort of turn off the camera and see the mask and only the mask. And I can also see that this would be really useful if you just want to get sort of the facial expression. So let's say that you're trying to emulate shock and you just, you know, uh, take a photo. It goes three, two, one, and do shock. So now I can just go into image. And if I import the shocked photo, then I basically have a reference image now available whenever I need it. And the best thing is this doesn't get recorded by the time lapse. So you can just use this specifically as a reference and if you like tracing well just insert photo and there you go now you can trace the image and if you want to get a better overview that's this one right here canvas it basically just mirrors whatever on your canvas and shows you in that little window so you can pick any scale that you want pretty cool all right pencil filters if we go into the adjustments right here first of all we can see a few new image effects that we can apply on the image and i think we're going to do a separate video about these but the feature that i want to talk about now is what happens if you tap on one of those you can see now you can apply it to the layer itself which is the way that these effects used to work you just apply the effect over the entire image or now we have access to pencil and now you can actually paint in the effect on any specific area so if you take a look at uh, this area right here, for example, and we just choose a nice brush, soft airbrush, for example, you now we just paint this effect on like so. You can increase the block size of the glitz or decrease it. How freaking awesome is that? It's sort of like the planets are sort of glitzing away. I think I actually might use this. Yeah, I like it. And this works across the entire image effects. For example, if you want to change the color of, I don't know, this background right here, for example, we can just go into hue, saturation, brightness, tap on pencil, and then I just paint over where we want uh, to change the color, make a smooth color transition over here. And now we can just go ahead and make it green or you know blue or whatever we want, change the saturation or change the brightness. You know, just allows you that much more control over your painting. So now it's just one click. You just tap on the pencil, do motion blur. Let's blur out this planet right here. The Procreate just keeps on giving. There are so many new features in this update. I'm probably not going to be able to take a look at all of them. But one really, really, really nice addition that they made is in the quick menu. You remember that you can sort of activate this quick menu, allowing you to you know, flip the picture or you can pretty much bind this to whatever you want. You can set this to a brush or you can merge a layer or whatever action that you want. You can just bind that to this quick menu. The problem before was that you can only have six items in this quick menu, but now you can tap on this one right here and you can swap between 
different quick menu sets. So you can access all the things that you use on a most regular basis, and that's just absolutely fantastic. And if you need to rename any of these, just tap on the quick menu here, tap again, and let's just say brush. Next thing's up, transform. Now they've added more functionality to the transform tool. Now you can use this little icon right here and you can just tweak the bounding box. That's a fantastic solution to the problem. You just you know, rotate this like so, no problem. You just realign it like so. And now you've got the bounding box back. Fantastic. And the key knight among you might have noticed this one right here, snapping. So now the magnetics feature has been moved on to here and we have a new functionality, snapping and distance and velocity over here. So let me show you what this does. So if you turn on snapping and let's say that you have a circle or something and you want to place it in the middle with the snapping enabled, we just move it and it shows us that's the center. Now with these shapes on the canvas right here, let me just do a little selection and let me fill it in. See that? Now we can fill in a color directly within the selection tool. You can also feather the selection and add to it. Fantastic. Now this video is basically sponsored by myself, the Art and Design Store. So if you're interested in any of the brushes that I use on a daily basis, then go ahead and check out www.artanddesign.tv. So thank you all very much for watching and uh, see you in the next one.